The booking feature in Mac is a powerful tool that can be used in different ways to handle varying scenarios. In this video, we are going to create tickets and configure booking settings for an online class. We'll talk about ticket types, ticket variations, family tickets, limits per user, payment and fees. But first of all, let's head to the booking settings page to see what we are dealing with. So right now I'm on my Modern Events Calendar dashboard and to get started with configuring your booking settings, you will need to head to this settings section here and from here navigate to booking. And here you will see the option enable booking module. So if this is disabled, then you will just simply see this empty page here. But once enabled, you'll see two tabs, basic and advanced. We will first go through the basic tab. Uh, so this first section here is called date options and it has two other sub options, let's say. So this first option, which is called date format, will help you use a different date format in your uh, booking forms. And the second option here determines the uh, maximum dates that are shown in the date selector. So let's say your workshop has 10 occurrences. So when customers want to book their chosen sessions, they need to uh, select the occurrences they want um, to book from a list or from the calendar. So here you can determine the maximum amount of occurrences that are displayed to them. So this is especially useful if your event has too many occurrences. Um, in this date selection options, uh, you can choose how the occurrences are viewed to your customers. So whether it's a drop down list or calendar view or checkboxes or express calendar. So these options are actually self explanatory and you can always uh, hover over this question mark and learn more about them. Uh, if you want a different date selection for each of your event, then make sure to choose yes from here. So in that case, you will configure this for each of your events that you create. Next is this interval option here, which is very useful for creating excitement among customers and encouraging them to visit your website on certain times for booking a specific event. So bear in mind that you can show the booking form uh, at certain intervals before the start of the event. So here you can determine the interval within which the booking form will be displayed to your customers. Um, this is a nice feature for um, you to do the marketing beforehand, before opening the registration, especially for those events that sell out really quickly. Um, okay, so um, sometimes you might want to have limits on how many tickets um, a person books on your website. Uh, so here the limitations section um, will come in handy. Uh, so you might wish to limit the IP uh, for, for certain users or not logged in um, users that want to change their name or email address and make a booking again. Uh, so all these options are available in this uh, limitation section and you can configure them with just a few simple clicks. And then uh, another great feature uh, and configuration option that we have here is this um, email and booking confirmations. Um, so um, this booking process will give you uh, two options to manage the bookings when it comes to approving a ticket purchase. Uh, so when a user uh, makes a booking, you get a notification to verify their booking. So you might want to do this just to check their registration info. So once you have verified the booking, users get notified to make the payment. And after that, you as an admin either confirm or reject their payment. But uh, Modern Events Calendar give these um, options to you. So you can automate these two steps and you won't just need to manually accept or reject um, every booking. Um, so here you can just um, choose auto verification for free bookings, auto verifications for paid bookings. And here you can also see the auto confirmation for free bookings, auto confirmation for uh, paid bookings. Again, this is already a booking and this one is a email verification. Uh, and the final section here is this uh, booking cancellation. And uh, here you can configure the uh, cancellation window here and then place the cancellation link uh, on a certain page. 
So from here, you can choose the page that you want to put uh, the booking cancellation so that your users have access to that. They can immediately cancel. Um, and then just keep in mind that if this is a paid booking, then you will need to do the refund manually because Mac does not have uh, access to that. So just uh, keep in mind that. Um, okay, so we are done with this basic tab and now let's move on to our advanced tab. One of the things that you might want for your event is to sell a table to family. But people need to only book a table, not seats at the table. So this can be easily achieved with this family tickets option here. So if you enable this, uh, then one ticket can contain, let's say, three people. But only uh, one ticket has been reduced from the capacity that you have defined for your event. It is a good idea to let customers know that uh, your tickets are running out because this will motivate them to hurry up and make a booking. This is where this um, last few tickets flag uh, comes in. Uh, so this is a percentage based setting that uh, you can set to show uh, this flag when only a certain percentage of tickets for the event remain. So let's say here is written 15, then uh, if 15% of my tickets are still uh, remained, then um, it will display this uh, little flag just saying uh, last few tickets. Um, okay, uh, so uh, you also have the option to uh, change this percentage per event if you enable this uh, checkbox below it. Uh, then you will need to configure uh, this percentage based setting for each of the events that you create. Um, okay, so after a booking has been made, you might want to take your customers to a custom page to thank them and give some further details or uh, info um, to other places. So this can be easily handled with this uh, thank you page option here. So for that, you will simply need to create uh, a new page from here dedicated to that thank you note. And then uh, come here and choose a page from here and it will redirect them um, after they make the booking. Sometimes you may need to coordinate your finances with the finance department and it is common to identify transactions in a certain way to keep in line with your policies or etc. And to do this, Mac gives you the option of transaction ID generation and here you've got two options, either random or ordered numbers. If you choose this random, then Mac will assign random numbers uh, to your transactions. But if you choose this uh, ordered numbers, then you will need to to set a base uh, transaction ID, let's say, and starting from that, it will give the specific uh, transaction ID numbers to your transactions. So let's say for our first booking uh, transaction ID, it would be one for zeros, and for the second one, it would be one, three zeros and one, for the third one, it would be one, three zeros and two, and you've got the logic. Okay, and our next configuration option is the simplify booking form. So um, in the booking forms, the first question usually asks how many tickets do you want to buy? But let's say we've already configured and if you remember, we could do that, that uh, one person can only purchase one ticket. So this question just becomes irrelevant and redundant. And Mac uh, gives you the option to disable or skip this question in your booking forms, which is really cool. Um, Okay, so suppose your workshop is for certain people and you want to prevent others from uh, booking that uh, specific event. How can you do that? Well, it's really easy with Mac. And um, first of all, you have the option to limit the booking for not logged in users. So if the user is not logged in, they simply will not see the uh, booking module on your website, even if they are uh, on the booking page on your website. Uh, and if uh, they are logged in, uh, they can already see. Uh, but let's say you want to configure that further and you want to um, uh, make your booking available for certain roles only. So for that, we are just disabling this um, checkbox here. And from here, you can see all the uh, user roles that can see our booking and we are uh, easily can just enable and disable them. Uh, but that's not it. There's more to this. If you go a little bit down, you can also see this uh, discount per user roles. And if you enable this, then all the users that are checked here will also get the discount. If you have a very important event, you might want to display it on the homepage of your website. 
uh, well, not the full event page, but just some part of it that will indicate that you have that event. Well, it is possible with Mac, and let's see how we can do that. You will simply need to copy the shortcut under this booking shortcut option here and place it wherever you would like uh, that event to be displayed. And you can also specify this for specific tickets. Uh, and we have explained this in this description, but just let me quickly tell you, instead of this number one, you will simply need to insert the ticket ID and it will display for that specific ticket. Um, well, it sometimes happens that you require your customers and users to upload certain files, let's say their passports, and for that you've got this upload field option. And here you can specify the file types, uh, whichever you accept, and also the maximum file size. So these are the requirements that your customers and users need to follow before making the booking. Um, well, payment policies differ from company to company, and that's why Meg has also introduced this partial payment option into this booking process. So if you enable this, then you will allow your customers to pay um, a certain amount of the booking uh, event price uh, during the booking, and the rest they will be able to uh, pay wherever you specify, maybe at the venue or uh, after the online booking uh, completion, etc. Uh, that's up to you and here you can choose either percent or amount if you choose percent and here let's say we specify 50 then they will need to pay the 50 percent of the event price during their booking and the rest uh, 50 percent uh, after the event um, has been done or uh, however you want uh, to get the rest of the money and also uh, for the developers out there we have you covered too uh, so you can enable uh, those uh, webhooks here and uh, then from the menu then uh, is added it to the dashboard uh, you can get the hooks for several operations and use them for your own purposes um, well that's pretty much it from this um, advanced tab with the booking settings provided in Mac, there's nothing you can do. Use them to create the most efficient booking processes for yourself and your customers. And I'll see you next time and have a nice day. Bye-bye.